Welcome to this video. In this example, you're going to learn how to register a Compose or Python function in HyperStudy. We're going to perform a minimization of internal Rosenbrock function, which is a popular test problem for gradient-based optimization algorithms. There are two ways to do it. I'm going to show you the first one in Compose and the second one in Python using the preference file. Here in Compose, you must have your function. You're going to highlight the function name, then right-click and register function. You have to do this step before opening HyperStudy. In case you have already started your study, you have to save it, close HyperStudy and reopen it. So now let's go to HyperStudy. Let's open a new study and then let's go to define models and we're going to add an internal math model we're going to define inputs variables step and we're going to add two, one for x and one for y. The range for x and y is set to minus two to two and the start point is minus one. Let's go to test models and run definition. Now let's go to add output response and we're going to add one. In the expression builder, we're going to look for our rowceval function. And we're going to insert and in input variables, we're going to select X and Y and we're going to insert bar name. And we're going to update every preview. And here we can see the result. We're going to evaluate and here we can also see the result. Now let's add an optimization. So we're going to go to define output responses step and we're going to add a goal, which is going to be to minimize. Now let's go to specification step to make sure adaptive response surface method is selected. We're going to click apply and now we're going to evaluate the task. Now let's click the iteration plot. The iteration history shows a significant reduction in the objective value. The Rosenbrock function has a global minimum that is difficult for any optimizer to find due to its flatness in the area of the true optimum. Now I'm going to show you the other way you can register your function, but now using the preference file. So we're going to save this and we're going to close it. Let's close HyperStudy and also Compose. Now in your favorite text editor, you're going to enter the following Python commands and you're going to save it as Rosenbrock function dot pi. Now, in this step, you're going to add a Python function to a preference file. So you're going to enter the following registration function and you're going to add the location of your Python function, which is this one. And in my computer is located here. So I just copy paste it and you're going to save it as rosenbrockprefs.mvw Now let's go to HyperStudy. We're going to click File, Use Preference File, and in the Set Preference File dialog, we're going to open the rosenbrockprefs.mvw Now let's do the same. We're going to start a new study. We're going to add a new internal math model. And we're going to add two input variables, one for X and one for Y. And we're going to change both input variables lower, initial and upper bounds to the same as the other study. Now let's go to test models, run definition, and we're going to add an output response. We're going to look for our Python Roseval function, which is here. We're going to add it 
and we're going to add both x and y input variables and when we update the preview we can see the same result and when we evaluate we can also see the same result so now you can perform your optimization it is also important to mention that you can import Python functions from the edit menu. Here we are going to open the same Python function without the need of the preference file. As you can see, it is the same one. Now let's do a quick recap. First you learn how to register a user function within Compose. Here the rows eval is displayed as internal on hyperstudy side. Also you can save the user function as a .py or .oml file and populate them through the preference file. A tip here is that this approach is particularly useful in the case of multiple functions to be registered. Uh, here you can avoid the right click register in Compose. And finally, you can import a Python function from the edit menu without the need of the preference file. Thank you for watching this video.